everybody. Welcome to Saturday Mornings Outdoors. My name is Paul K, and it's that time of year again. We are back on the canal, beautiful Cape Cod Canal in uh, Sandwich, Mass. At this time, and uh, we're going to start the Strider Quest series. Uh, so stay tuned, and we're going to start with some more educational stuff about this too. So this video is going to be based on. Um, uh, people that are going to come down to the canal to fish for the almighty striped bass and the other species that are uh, inherent in the canal. And I'm going to take it to the basics as always. And it's going to include the first things to do once you come into town. You're either going to come into sandwiches or you're going to come into born. And uh, how to approach a strategy of fishing in the canal. I neglected to mention uh, one of the major, major points. If you're coming from away, I'm on the Cape Cod side, so you either have to go over the Bourne Bridge or the Sagamore Bridge and run along the road that parallels the canal. I'm on the Cape Cod side, not the mainland side. That's where all these features are that I'm showing you. So after you have your campground site or your hotel room, wherever you've come down, the first thing, very first thing I would do, now I'm going to include addresses so you can put them right in your GPS, but this would be 60 Ed Moffat Drive in Sandwich, Mass. And it is the Cape Cod Canal Visitor Center, run by the Army Corps of Engineers and uh, probably the town of Sandwich. And you will be able to get some extremely useful stuff inside. And this is run by the Army Corps of Engineers. There's two valuable, most valuable things you want to get out of here that are free. The first thing you ask for, just go in there right at the front desk. We're going to go in, I'll show you where. It's called the Cape Cod Canal Tide Table Chart. And if you're serious about fishing the canal, this is the Bible right here. This gives you the tides for the whole season of the year. It's going to show you the full moons and the new moons and when to fish. And we study, serious fishermen study this all winter long, trying to pick the best tides of the upcoming year. And they have them free that they're put out by the gracious Army Corps of Engineers every year. The second thing, very valuable, and they asked me to please mention that um, the amounts are limited on what they have of these. But these are a map of uh, the named fishing holes in the canal. Just ask for the fishing holes in the canal. And uh, so... Uh, that, that map and uh, they'll supply you with uh, this this map and what it is is it names all the established fishing holes in the whole length of the canal now the bait shops sell these maps they're much more elaborate and they give you more fishing information on but they have them in here for free if you're lucky they might have printing copies be aware though that they uh, said that they have limited copies of this map and once again Army Corps of Engineers thank you very much now let's go inside and see what they have to So this is where you'll find the tide table booklet. And like I said, they only have limited amounts of the printed, but these fine attendants will see if they have those in stock. Otherwise, you can get them at the bait shops. So inside the museum is going to have a full overview of how and why the canal was built historically and many interesting displays. Uh, the history of the Cape Cod Canal and uh, it's a very interesting place to come into. And by the way, it's free of charge. One of the best displays that I always loved in here is the uh, different types of knots using uh, nautical uh, times. And it's pretty elaborate and pretty, uh, it's actually very beautiful. This is a huge mural showing the fish that are available in the canal. Bluefish, striper, everything. Everything in the ocean swims through the canal at one point. I've seen whales breach through all kinds of whales too. And uh, pretty interesting. And of course fishing is huge here at the canal. So they have a full on display of all kinds of, of plugs that are very versatile in uh, catching our favorite species. Looking at that wall, it looks like it's mostly stripers, of course. 
a little display on lobstering, which is legal in the canal. You can lobster in there from the land. You've seen a few videos of uh, uh, guys lobstering in the canal. I'm going to go into the theater room, and I'm not going to speak because there's a show going on, but they're having a pretty nice little theater where they show the history of the canal. They literally have a full-scale patrol boat style, relatively old school, but uh, I'm in the helm and you can tromp around in this thing and see what it's actually like to be on an actual patrol boat that comes around. It's very important display is the marine traffic control and how they navigate all the large ships that come through here and small ships. Every inch of it is uh, under surveillance for uh, safety purposes also of course and uh, it's a uh, quite sophisticated uh, monitoring system that they have in the navigation and fitting the right ships and amount of ships coming through at the right time so that there's no hazards. So the mo most important takeaway from stopping here first is you want that tide table chart and the fishing map and this will give you a beautiful over a beautiful overview and a wonderful setting of why and how the Cape Cod Canal exists. But uh, like I say, you're after the uh, tide table chart and you're after the uh, uh, um, fish chart, fishing hole map. So as long as you're here, before I recommend any other first stops, uh, the, the museum is on the other side of the uh, basin with the boats come in the first stop for fishing you could possibly come is this a sandwich recreation area very popular spot very popular spot to fish it's somewhat like a jetty and it's somewhat like a pier comes out over the water when the stripers are running there's tons of people here it's almost combat fishing this is the equivalent of the railroad um, bridge on the other end when it's busy here it's wall to wall but uh, you can see the depth pretty significant as it goes out into the canal the only thing i don't like about here is unless you have you can fish here when you get a striper you can either use a landing net a hoop net and you pull it up with a rope most guys just drag it over here lead the fish over here and then you have to run over to the rocks and uh pull the fish uh, up in that way and it's it's a little difficult when there's 800 people fishing here but it's an ex there's a reason why it's an extremely popular spot because they catch tons of fish here but it's the sandwich recreation area so giving you the honest truth these are sandwich sagamore and born these are all high-end tourist towns so if you're a fishing guy and uh, if you stop in any of these restaurants, the, some of the best seafood there is around, and you know, in, the, in this country, if not the world, is Boston and this area, Cape Cod. But bring your wallet, and uh, same with you know, I mean, you're gonna go to McDonald's. These are all tourist areas. You're gonna pay nine bucks for a hamburger that's worth about 33 cents. On the road leading out from the um, sandwich recreation area back to the main highway there's going to be a stop and shop it's our local supermarket go in there and buy all the munches you can eat all night long when you're night fishing or day fishing whenever you what you're fishing but that's how we locals do it you know if you're hungry get get your food at the supermarket you know get your junk stuff that you're going to munch on through the night and th there's a lot of there there's not too much reasonably priced food in this area there it's all there's ton, tons of every cuisine that you want or need but bring your wallet. So if you have bottomless dollars, go there. But we we generally buy our junk at Stop and Shop. <laughs> Just trying to help. It's how the locals do. So this is the Bourne Recreation Area. And this gives you access to the access road. And not only that, of course, anywhere you see these fishing, I mean these abutments that hold up the bridge, uh, this is the Bourne Bridge. 
either side of those is holes great fishing I'm considering doing all the named spots I'm considering doing a, a video on each one of the spots to clue you in on how to fish them and where they're located and uh, so please stay tuned like and subscribe but this is the born recreational fishing area and all along here is strike of heaven so at 265 main street in buzzards bay i'm not sponsored by anyone by the way none of these they're just places that i go to and i have been going to for 45 years so red top sporting goods one of the premier fishing bait and tackle and marine stores probably in new england this is world known like montauk and all up and down the east coast they have their best shops it's, no, it's the owner's name is aj and freshest bait every kind of tackle you can imagine custom rods uh high-end rods and reels middle rods and reels low-end rods and reels all, all kinds of fishing gear and everything and uh once again i'm not sponsored by anybody but this would be your second spot there are other bait stops shops in the area these are the two main shops that everyone goes to if you're fishing uh, in the Bourne side of the canal red top is the place to go if you're fishing in the Sagamore side of the canal um, canal bait and tackle is the ones that I go to and uh, this particular shop here has the greatest sales they're not overpriced they're reasonable and uh, once again I'm not sponsored I just love this place it's, it's a fair fairly run and AJ does a great job at it. Red Top Sporting Goods. So the third and final stop. Uh, if you're fishing the East End, which is Bourne and Sagamore, world-class tackle shop is the Canal Bait and Tackle. And if you go inside, the owner's name is Bruce and he has everything you need to fish the canal and it's uh he has custom rods just for the canal and all the custom baits and he can give you all the fishing information that's needed to catch tons of fish been around forever he's an old salt and a uh, very worthwhile place to go it's a wonderful place to uh stop if you're fishing the east end so basically head hit the visitor center first pick up your tide charts and your map of the fishing holes in the canal hit one of the bait shops either in the Bourne end that would be canal bait or the red top in uh, Sagamore end get some grub you know you want to spend a whole day out here or many days out here and uh, pick your spot off the map check the tides you want to fish and go fishing it's that simple and you have as, just as much chance the key to catching fish here it's you got to keep doing it that's all you, on your first day, you might catch a 40-pounder, 40 40 but uh, the guys that catch fish week after week, it's just they put the time in, that's all. And look at the other fishermen, see how they're fishing, what they're using for bait. At each bait shop, ask, they will give you intimate information to the day of what bait's running and what lures to use and so forth and so on. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. And uh, I hope this video helped you. If you check my other video, instructional uh, video on uh, fishing the Cape Cod Canal. I'll give all the basics on the gear. So between that video and this video, it, you should have no problem. Uh, and so I hope you found useful this absolute beginner tutorial exactly what to do if you're coming down here for the first time. It's, this is a world-class fishing spot. Monster fish of all kinds come out of here. Tons of people want to fish it, and this is the easiest way I know to explain how to get started. So, first stop will be the visitor's center, so you can pick up the Bible, the tide chart, and the map. Second stop, maybe the second or third stop, but the second stop is get some food, and then the third stop would be go to the local tackle shops and buy the gear, or what, what, and get your information for them to the day of what's running and what baits running and so forth and like that and and then come on down and fish and uh, check the maps out look at the tides see which tides you want to fish which are beneficial to you time it so that the tide fits you on your vacation and then also uh, choose your gear and then with the fishing map choose the spot you want to fish simple as that 
and then come down. The more, the key really, everyone asks me, how do you get the stripers? How do you get the big stripers? How do you get the, a lot of the stripers? The more you do it, the better you get at it. Simple, just like anything else. You gotta put the time in. You have to put the time in. Guys that are catching fish every week, they're putting the time in. And you can catch fish the first time down here. And uh, you just have to also can do studying the techniques that I'm trying to show you and other guys, other videos are showing you and be in the proper spot with the proper gear and you will catch fish. It's just, you have to just continue to do it. So thank you so much, everyone. Uh, I hope you can use and appreciate this video, uh, especially the beginner guys, of course. And uh, please show uh, your love by uh, <laughs> liking and subscribing. It really helps the channel. Uh, thank you so much for showing up and tuning in. My name is Paul Kay and this has been Saturday Mornings Outdoors.